This is the 13th strike since the end of August, 13 days, and another five to come before Christmas. But this is not just a dispute for Christmas. This is a dispute for the new year if we can't get Simon Thompson to see sex. Basically what Royal Mail leaders want is a gig economy. They want people on self-employed, they want people on less terms and conditions. It's a total race to the bottom. They want to have later deliveries. You know, it's going to decimate the industry. The one thing that Thompson has done is galvanised everybody in our determination to defeat him and his wrecking agenda for this business, this service, damaging our industry and putting the universal service obligation at risk. We're the only people to provide that. They're trying to destroy that, trying to break the will and spirit of this union and we're not going to let them do either. I have a message for three groups of people today. To the public, I want to set the record straight. Yes, part of this strike is about pay. But for me and thousands of my colleagues, it's about our jobs and the service we provide to you. We simply cannot afford to stand by and watch them destroy our terms and conditions and the service that we love to provide. <laughs> to the managers, wake up! If this happens to us, it will happen to you. If they cut our jobs, you're next. who take massive bonuses while telling us there's nothing left for us, us postal workers. Shame on you! It's, it's a scary picture, you know, we, we are, we're talking, if, if their, their plans go ahead as, as they want, you know, we're talking about a completely different raw mail to what we've recognised for the last 500 years. He's offered a pay deal where he wants us to change everything, all the things that make the job a decent, reasonable job, they want to remove. Hey, hey and say they'll give us a pay rise of 9%. It's in sure? about four different parts. It actually works out about a £27 pay loss for a lot of our members. But the job security, terms, conditions, contracts of our people, it virtually destroys them. We're talking about maybe deliveries to every household three times a week. We must maintain what we've got to protect that six day a week service. They're not interested in the letters. They're only interested in parcels and packets. And the problem they've got and they don't grasp is that we deliver to 33 million addresses. It's such a fantastic business opportunity, but they can't grasp it. Every time we go on strike, Simon Thompson's coming out with a different threat. Compulsory redundancies, taking away allowances, you know, the, the, every single time there's another attack on us. They want to get rid of about 10,000 jobs, at the, you know, job cuts at the moment, but they want to get rid of those on one hand, and then on the other hand, they want to bring other people in, doing the same job, but on worse terms and conditions. We cannot agree a situation where they kick you out the door, and at the same time, bring self-employed drivers in, bring owner drivers in and agency workers to casualise this industry. This is nothing against any of those workers. We want workers on proper pay, on proper jobs, proper contracts, holiday pay, sick pay. They say they're losing a million pound a day. They're not losing a million pound a day. They're making a million pound less profit than they did this time last year a day, but they're still making significant profits. 758 million pounds they made just months ago. What did they do with that money? Give £567 million pounds into the hands of shareholders. Some people say being a CEO is hard. Well, try being a postal worker then. <laughs> Simon Thompson could never do my job. But after watching him on the BBC with someone writing answers on a whiteboard for him, I'm damn sure I can do this. <laughs> Right? Two years ago we were heroes. In the pandemic for us, we were out there delivering packets, delivering letters, providing service to the public, which is what we do. And now, Thompson wants to get rid of that. I've been a posting for over 31 years now. Um, I've not been on delivery for quite some time, but on a delivery I used to knock on, uh, there was a lady who used to knock on her house every morning just to make sure that she was okay, make sure that she got out of bed and was there ready for when her carer came. You know, we've, we've got posters that have actually saved people lives when they've noticed fires. This is called the Royal Mail, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to keep it that way, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to have a little walk up to 
the Royal Palace to show that postal workers do stand up for the service. We want Dodson out! We want Dodson out! We want Dodson out! We want Dodson out! We want Dodson out. We've had some members and representatives that have been suspended on some spurious reasons. They've been targeting, targeting so much posties over the, you know, over the country. So many of them have been suspended. There was at least 45 CW reps that was suspended. We've got six of our activists currently under investigation on nonsense charges. We've had attacks on our own reps as well. We've got some on suspension at the moment on what we feel are trumped up charges. My office, it's become the number one crisis office because we're really a strong team. So yeah, at the minute, they, we're, we're targeted. The management have been doing that for the last six months, ripping up our agreements, throwing in executive action. They're always at it anyway. They're, I mean, they're always on our backs. We just have to just not stoop to their level. They brought in a fellow called Grant McPherson, a recognised union breaker who's done damage in Honda and Jaguar Land Rover. And they brought him in to do a job of work on us, and we just got to make sure we're a couple of steps ahead of him. This union does not put a pen to a piece of paper on any deal until each and every one of those who have been justly been removed from work are back at work. We want Johnson out! We want Johnson out! We want Johnson out! We want Johnson out! If we lose this dispute, it'll be a target for every other union. The attacks will grow on them and they'll start losing as well. So we have to maintain it and support each other. And if we win this dispute, that's what we'll be telling other unions, you know, that we've won. If we've stood strong. It's a great turned out and I'm really, really proud of the CW. I've been a rep for 35 years. I've never known the membership as strong and determined as they are in this dispute. We're moving into Christmas now. This is the time when we're really putting pressure on Royal Mail. And I believe they're really feeling it. On the 16th of January, we will be serving seven days notice on the employer to do a new ballot for job security, pay and change. And on the 13th of February, we are going to seek to beat the 97% yes vote that you delivered in the summer. As much as you can, you and your families, have a, as nice a Christmas as you can. You've been brilliant. Keep that respect on the picket lines. Do the thing that you do best. Just be good people that you are, and we will win this dispute. You know that. We're not going away. We're going to win it. Thank you. We want Tops out. We want Tops out. We want Tops out. We want Tops out.